Hello everybody and welcome to this Beat Oven review. Today I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about Beat Oven. As always, if you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. As well, I will be also leaving a discounted link in the description so that you can always get your money's worth for Beat Oven. So Beat Oven is a website where you can essentially create AI pieces of music for your videos. Now, this allows you to create, you know, music that is very, very similar to the type of content that you want to upload without actually having any issues with copyright or anything like that. It will simply look at what you upload and create music based off that content. So as you can see, this is the main dashboard. It's a very, very, very simplistic website, but we're going to begin with looking at this tab here. As you can see, it tells you what you're signed in as. It also has access to settings. Now under settings, we can access a few things here. You can have a little look at the plans. As you can see, the payments you can adjust by how many users are going to be using this per month. As you can see, you can have all the way from two users up to 15, and then you can switch between monthly and yearly. Scrolling down a little bit, you also have your publishing channels. And for the sake of this, we're going to be using the classic FM YouTube channel just so that you get an idea of the music that it would create. And then you also have account security where you can reset your password or log out. So we're going to go ahead and hit new track. Now selecting this, we can change three different things. We can change the duration, the speed or tempo, and then the track title. So we're going to be calling this classic. Okay, that's all we're going to put. And the duration in minutes and seconds will make it, let's say, 25 seconds and the tempo will be fast. We're going to go ahead and hit next and we can select the genre or regional sound we want the track to have. And when you hover over them, it will give you an example of each one. So for example, cinematic. And also we'll have a little listen to ambient. So we're going to go ahead and hit cinematic. So we're going to click this. Then it will ask what emotion do you want to assign? And this will also play a little bit of a preview. So if we go for, let's say, triumphant. And then you also have sad. And then calm. So I really, really like Calm, so we're going to go for this one, and then it will create our track. So this will take a little bit of a while, you'll just have to wait for this to get to 100%. As you can see, this is roughly the time that it would take, so we're on 11, 20, and I'll be back when it reaches 100. So here we are, and this is our main sort of, this is our main dashboard, this is our main control area for the music. So as you can see, it will give us a little bit of a tutorial. So if you express emotions, you can choose from 16 different moods. So at any point, you can actually change it. So as you can see, it gives us a little bit of a tutorial and I'll just talk you through. As you can see, you can express emotions with 16 different moves. You can also explode, split and delete regions. So basically select little bits that you like and then take that out and add that and do all sorts with it. Really, really useful. You can create volume transitions. So adjusting the volume chart for different areas and you can create variations of a section. Um, what does it say here? You can choose instruments. You can deselect or select instruments from here. So we're going to go through all of these. So as you can see here, we can change the emotion at any point to any of these, fairly self-explanatory. As you can see, you can also zoom in and out of the timeline, so you can get really, really precise with the areas that you're cutting or editing. Over on the right here, this allows you to select the different variations of different sections, so you can actually go through and listen to each one of them. On the right here, you can simply change the instrument. So as you can see, the melody is piano, the chords and strings, the bass is the bass, and the percussion area is obviously done by percussion. But you can change this. You can either enable or disable them. You can also select this button here. And once you've done that, that will change it a little bit. <coughs> Okay, so now we're going to move over to the track properties. This is where you can edit the genre if you do want to. You can simply select any of the ones that we looked at before. You can also edit the tempo from the original one that you've selected. You can also lock a specific section or delete it. You can also edit the mood and the instruments. And under track options, you can obviously select the different variations here as well. If you hit compose track, this will essentially finish it all off. That does exa exactly what we did before. So have you edited things hit compose track and that will re uh, do the AI and that will make it whatever you want. 
You can also add a volume transition, so by hitting this you can select different sections and actually drag a little line up and down. So essentially if I were to have let's say three lines, four line, four dots here rather, you can have one line go immediately down and then up and then down and then up. So as you can see what this would create is something that sounds a bit like this. <laughs> where the dynamics of the piece actually go down and then up and then down and then up. Now, as you can see, it was very, very, very quick, so you wouldn't notice it as much. But if I do it over a little bit of a longer period of time, it would sound like this. As you can tell, it's got a little bit of variation of the dynamics and very, very, very useful. As you can see at the top, you can turn your help on and off. This essentially lets you highlight or look at different things and it will describe what it does. So as you can see under track options, if we click on this, it will give us a little bit of information about that. Um, so this is if you do not really understand what's going on or the tutorial was a little bit more complicated and you sort of missed what it said, you can very easily go back to it by simply triggering the help option on. You can also download the generated track and this will simply download it as a complete track and you can also download it as a stem complete track, meaning every single instrument will have its own individual track or file. So heading back to the main page very quickly, you can also add team members. This is very, very similar to a lot of other websites in the sense that you can invite people and give them permissions based on their you know, position or friendship or whatever you want to base the people off. You can also view all of your projects through the My Projects tab, and that is essentially Beethoven. Very, very quickly at the bottom right, you also have a bug report button and a chat with us button. This is where you can ask the support a few, few questions. It runs on intercom, and then by hitting report bug, you can also email them and put your name down and the issue. And that is about it for Beethoven. So now it begs the question, do I like Beat Oven and would I recommend it? And the simple answer is yes. I feel that the reason I would say yes is Beat Oven is incredibly simplistic to use. You are able to select a tempo, a length, a, uh, a an emotion and a few other parameters and it would be able to create you a completely unique artificial intelligence piece of music. There's no need for musical knowledge for a website like this and you are able to create a decent, decent amount. The actual plans are not too expensive, especially if you like using royalty free music. As you can see, the amount of things that you can get for your payment is actually very, very good. With free, you only get 15 minutes as opposed to 60 minutes and I find that to be really, really useful. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend Beethoven. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.